testing, testing. Cool. All right, guys. This is kind of my start of a uh, honeymoon review Total War Warhammer 2. It has been quite a while, but I've got some upgrades to my gear, and this is running. Uh, the game itself is running faster than 30 frames a second, but I limited the frames in the video to 30 frames a second because I might use some of this and intercut it with like footage from uh, my camera, which is also running at 30 frames a second, and I don't want to disorient people. So I feel like it is kind of disorienting to switch between 30 and 60 back and forth. So it's kind of being limited. Also, it makes the job of editing this much easier. All right. So yeah, I know you guys know this can be continue campaigns. I have done a few Mortal Empires, but this honeymoon review is focusing on what came in the base game, which is Eye of Vortex stuff, which I have not played yet. We must preserve this world. We can achieve much and together. I'm going to choose to play this as the High Elves because I feel like this is how most people are going to come in and play as this race first. Uh, not only does the game kind of start you off with them, like <laughs> you go into here and you're pointing right at them but also because uh they just are the most like the standard fantasy race in warhammer 2 um i might intercut this like like an hour of this with about a uh an hour of skaven at some point in the future I'm not sure which skaven possibly rictus or pestilence probably pestilence oh, they don't come with a Rat Ogre in this one? We'll come with Rat Ogre in uh, the other campaign. So anywho, yeah, let's get this started. Oh, I guess we should do the, uh, well, I guess, yeah, let's do the Naval Campaign Introduction as part of the intro. center of the great ocean lies Althuan, a paradise created by the Old Ones. But when the stellar gates collapsed, demons flooded the mortal plane. All was lost until Anarion the Defender strode forth. The first Phoenix King vanquished the demons. With the aid of the Archmage, Kalidor Dragontail. It was Kalidor and his elven mages who created the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphoned the excess magic withering demonkind. With the world of chaos, the elves took it upon themselves to become guardians and stewards. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake brought great peril. The dragon with two tails flies lower than before. Its trail disturbs the vortex i have felt a change in the winds of magic then write it brother lead the mages of safari bring all in the white tower to bear if you must such lore is currently beyond us i suggest a scrying ritual in the pool of isha it may provide us with the answer such a ritual requires fragments of fallen waystones far more than we have then we find more make ready your ritual lore master talarian you will have your fragments. I shall start the search in Lustria. Lustria? My brother will search here, in Althuan. Why do you care so much about the greater world? Why do you not? Stay here, brother. Protect Althuan. But I venture beyond our borders. And while you meddle in far-flung continents, I will ensure you have a home to return to.
kind of a cool little intro. Gives you an idea kind of of the story and what everyone's going after and some of the characters, which is different for Total War intros. <laughs> Although I don't think I ever watched the ones for Warhammer. But yeah, but the ones for Warhammer were more like, uh, you had this, yeah, no, I remember watching them. You had this guy that, like, uh, he's like this, like, weird old dude who was, like, your advisor for every race. And the idea was that, you know, he was just kind of with you and describing the the chaotic situation that that race was in. Whereas this is more like a an actual, like, story, like the introduction to, like, a movie or TV series or something. Which I'm honestly kind of surprised that someone hasn't bought the TV rights to, like, a Warhammer game or Warhammer TV show. I, if I had to guess as to why not... <laughs> It'd probably be because Games Workshop is notoriously difficult to work with. And probably because it would also be really expensive. Because, like, Skaven and Greenskins and Beastmen, Chaos, all of those are really, really difficult to, like, do with practical effects. So you'd want to do it CGI. So your, like, CGI budget would be high. So then the thing is either do the whole thing in CGI... Um, or you do like the kind of the Warcraft thing, which, you know, people didn't like in the Warcraft movie. So that's probably part of what pushed this behind. Um, I think you could do like a good animated version though. I'd be down for that. I mean, Warhammer has some of the best fantasy races out there. The Greenskins are hilarious, the Skaven are amazing, like, they just go into complete degrees of, like, ridiculousness, but somehow still, like, semi-realistic, like, you could buy that this race exists, um, and they use magic in the weirdest ways, like, I think it's in 40k, like, green skin vehicles painted red are faster, because red is the fastest color. Like, literally, you take the same vehicle and paint it red, and it'll actually have a faster stat. A faster, a faster speed stat. My PC is not the best, as you can tell from the long load times. Tyrion. I come with blessings from the lore masters of Safari. Though I am but a short-lived man, my advice may be of use in this black hour. The Dark Elves, or Druki as they are called by your kind, have yoked the malevolent energies unleashed by the comet's appearance. With them, they have found a route through the shifting isles to the southern shores of your homeland, Holtwan. I regret to inform you that in your absence, their dreaded forces have run rampant across Altwan. While your capital, Lothurn, remains uncompromised, several smaller cities have fallen. Though your rapid march south has brought some welcome additional forces, the situation remains grim. See for yourself. That's the guy that's all over the place and, uh... Total War Warhammer. The theater of war, Prince Tyrion. Wield your forces wisely. They are your best hope for averting Lopen's destruction. The city port of Lopen, your capital, is the seat of the Phoenix King. A garrison defends the city, but it is gravely threatened. Druki raiders sack the surrounding countryside, probing the city's defenses. The Phoenix Throne cannot be allowed to fall. The Dark Elves must be engaged and driven from Althwan. Champion of the Ever Queen. What's the other point of interest? Up here? Oh, there. Like 
Many strikes by the enemy have gained them control of the Tower of Vissian, Lord Tyrion. Its capture means they now command the Straits of Lothan at both ends. Furthermore, scouts report that the Dark Elves have struck at Angeriel and overrun the defenses there. Digging them out of this fortified city will not be easy, my prince. The Druki must not be left to despoil the inner kingdoms of Althuan. The Asher's history with the Druki goes back millennia. You are no stranger to their wicked and vicious methods of war. They must not be allowed to enter your capital. Prince Tyrion, now is the perfect time to attack. Select your army first. Oh, they're actually just going to command you to attack this army. All right, cool. The enemy, my lord. They are scattered and not prepared for an attack so soon. Battle is upon you, Prince Tyrion. Have your host sharpen their swords, fasten their armor, and prepare for bloodshed. I wasn't sure if they were going to have like a force battle or not because some of the tutorials are thinking well yeah, a lot of the other total war games do actually have like an actual tutorial mission whereas i don't believe this one does but like in a lot of the campaigns if you do an introduction there isn't an introductory battle although i think in hmm, or at least one case in total war warhammer where there is there was actually introductory battles that's right yeah been a while since I've checked that like go through the introduction stuff like I usually just start at the normal start point <laughs> I've played so many of these total war games but it's a good practice to do it for the first like start of the campaign because they do add mechanics here and there and they can be critical to actually achieving victory especially when you have a case like the great vortex campaign where there's a specific objective that you're trying to complete Fellow Asya, hear my words. Yet again, the Druki come at us. A never-ending tide of war. But Althuan's cliffs are strong. Its shores refuse to be washed away by the waves of our hated kin. Today, we must guard Lothran's seawalls. Let the Druki torrent come. Their waves will break upon us. Turn back the flood. For Althuan. For the Phoenix King. For Asurian. The Druki raiders were last sighted close to here, Prince Tyrion. Survey the area for yourself. Your elves stand ready for battle, Prince Tyrion. Each one has sworn an oath to drive the Druki enemy from Althuan, or to die trying. of this place conceal the enemy's whereabouts, my lord. This hilltop should afford a good view over the surrounding area. Your presence on the field inspires the elves you command, Prince Tyrion. Under your leadership, your warriors will advance with great confidence into battle. Wield your influence wisely. I like his armor. His armor's pretty... Pretty sweet. The time has come to advance, my lord. First, select your own unit in order to rejoin your forces. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Good. Now issue a move order towards your army. The troops are assembled and await your arrival. Excellent. Your place is amongst your warriors, mighty lord. Your very presence encourages them to fight harder. Is he gone? Oh, they just automatically move him there. The time has come to advance your warriors, my lord. 
Select your whole army so that the order may be given to all. Good. Now order your army forward, my lord. Let us crest this ridge and find where the enemy lies. With me! Excellent. Your army advance in search of the enemy, my lord. Take this time to... Gonna actually tell him to walk, which may take us more time. Oh, it doesn't give me control over this. It's got it. It doesn't give me control over the speed. <laughs> Damn it. It's gonna speed up the video so that I can actually do that and not waste any of our time. Because one of the important traits that people don't always keep track of in these games is uh, that fresh stat down there. Um, that basically i've used that to my advantage in some games like some previous total war games where the ai wasn't that great um it's not to say the ai is bad ever in these games it's actually not it's just sometimes can be easy to trick it's really hard to code ai for a strategy game like this um but you could trick them into coming at you like across the entire map and they'd run almost the entire way so they'd cut and they'd run to you and then run right into your like troops after having run across the entire battlefield and it does have an actual like real big effect on the battle With me. so i try to make sure that my troops are always fresh before engaging the enemy but there are times where that's just not going to happen you have to you know be aggressive or something and and often, like, it, the closer you get, the enemy will then itself become aggressive towards you, so. Alright. I'm gonna... Ow. The enemy come into sight, my lord. We have caught them by surprise. Advance quickly before they can retreat. Why would they retreat? It's an equal match. Alright. Whatever. Yeah, see how they're not retreating? Moving out. Just gonna go slowly. The Druki intend to give battle, Prince Tyrion. Send your elven warriors into attack. Show the okay, don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. For the most part. Assign individual targets for each of your units when attacking, my lord. Keep a wide formation. Alright, that's where they're gonna be base surrounded. their attack. Battle call! The battle! Death to all! Defender of Ulf One! Die, true king! Incoming charge! Sure to keep watch on your warriors in battle, my lord. Their very lives may depend on it. Maybe a long battle. Where is the enemy lord? I'm trying to find. Oh wow, our troops are just better than theirs. <laughs> the enemy lose the will to fight. See how they run from the battle. Press your advantage. The Druki re-enter the field and in great numbers. Your Asher are brave, but this shall be a stern test. Defend this ridge, my lord. The trees will grant your warriors cover, while the slopes will provide them an advantage in combat. Advance upon the ridge without delay, my lord. Yeah, this is the case of where running is important. The best of victory against such a number. Order your forces forward quickly.
Sweet. Allied forces approach Tyrion. See that some amongst their number carry bows. They will be able to rain arrows upon the Kuki from behind your front lines. The reinforcements now fall under your control, my lord. Move the infantry into your front line. The extra bodies are sorely yes, needed. They are. Place your fresh missile troops behind your army. They will fire automatically if the enemy come into range. These guys are probably going to be close to tired by the time they get up there. Active. Active is still good. I wonder what happens if, like, uh, Prince Tyrion just dies on the battlefield. What do they do then? Be sure to arrange your infantry in a line for the coming battle. is yours. Move your infantry out to block the pass and await the enemy's arrival. Do not be tempted out of position. Oh, yeah. Spearmen! Understood! Acknowledged! <sighs> what do they have over there? Oh, they're missile troops. Shades. Yeah, the Lord might want to move more towards the center anyways. So they're going to attack this as a weak flank, so we got to kind of circle around when it gets up there. Yeah, they're not even pushing. They're not even pushing my right flank at all. You have many abilities to rally and empower your troops. Now is the time to use them. Not right now. I guess right now. No. Okay, fine. We'll use it right now. Did you want me to progress? Alright. Battle has been joined, my lord. Order your forces forward to envelop the enemy where possible. Do not leave troops idle. These guys are gonna push this way. It shall be done. Seek Kara ancestors. Archers. One unit of archers. Punch these guys. Black oil. Acknowledged. Oh no no no. This is definitely going to be one of those encircling flank things, too. Darkness. 
How is these guys holding this flank for this long? This is crazy. What are their like freaking reinforcements approach the battle? Have them charge the enemy. The cowards flee for duty. For duty. Without fail. Asur, advance. I think there's something in that tutorial that gave them like extra morale because that was crazy. There's unless Dark Hells just have like super morale or something because I'm used to uh, those flanks like that that have like that are losing heavily. You know, they barely damaged my spearmen and like lost like 75% of the units. I'm used to those guys routing and then just sweeping in. But I'm thinking they give them extra morale to, you know. Allow for that uh, the Phoenix cavalry charge. His congratulations, Prince Tyrion. For the Druki invaders have been driven from the field. The fate of those taken captive from the battle is yours to decide. Very well. Your forces are weary from battle. I mean, executing there is clearly the best thing to do. To march on. See if we I don't think you can even, like, ally or do anything with the Dark Elves, so. Champion, the distance your army can still move is shown around it, my lord. Plan your movements wisely, for your armies cannot. The enemy still threaten your capital, Prince Tyrion. Move now to block the route from the south and close off the possibility of attack. Good. Your army now blocks the approach to your capital. Any attack by the enemy will need to get by you first. See for yourself. How your forces control the area around them. Morassa, stand ready to take up arms in the name of the Phoenix King. Recruit them now, and they will be ready to fight in the battles to come. A glorious victory! Excellent choices, my lord. You will, of course, be aware that armed forces cost currency to build. And maintain. Be sure to keep watch on your finances, lest ruin overtakes you. I feel like with that recruitment thing. Let us review what destruction the Druki have wrought on your territory, my prince. Select Lopen to inspect your. I powers. feel like with that part where they told me to like um, recruit X units or whatever. <sighs> I want to say that like they should have told. Like instead of highlighting people or highlighting the whole thing, I think they should highlight the whole thing, and give the option to people, but they should have told them like what the benefits are. Because I did what I did because I know that if I have four units of spearmen and I have four archers behind them, those archers are probably protected from most damage, right? Because there's, you know, four if you have three. a line in the right area and I tend to find the most or try to find the most defensive positions, you get like really good defensive option and then the archers are a really great offensive option. But it doesn't really explain the positives or negatives to you. It shows them kind of in the battle briefly. But if you're if this is your first time in the game, I don't really think you're going to be that aware of that. The province surrounding your capital is shown here, my lord. A province may contain many cities, each exerting authority over the territory surrounding them. Control the cities, and you control the land. 
Cities within the local province are shown here, my lord, along with any facilities they contain. Shown also are those cities in the province that were lost to the enemy. A reminder of the need to reclaim them, my lord. Capital and the buildings it contains are shown here, my lord. Work needs to be done to improve its readiness for war. Here we may see the state of the province that surrounds your capital. The enemy raids have caused considerable unrest. Public order is suffering, as you can see, my lord. The agitators will need calming in time, but matters of defense are more pressing. cities are the backbone of your state, my lord. Taxes are raised through them, and they provide the infrastructure necessary. Good. Construction will begin immediately, but will take some time to complete. There is nothing more you can do for now, my lord. Let us await your enemy's next move. Before we go and do that. Ridiculous. Oh, okay, I guess I can. So, I don't like that it doesn't give you, like, full control. But, um... I would still say this is like definitively so far been like the best introduction that they've done in a Total War game, both story wise and also like showing you all this stuff. Part of me is, is going through this the whole time. I figured he's going to attack. Part of me, when going through this the whole time, is just like, hmm. how do they do this? How do they do that? How do they do like, not like how do they do it, but like, as in like, how can someone do this more like? How are they doing it? I know how other people do that kind of stuff, like the, the glowing, the, the um, flashing, kind of being like, do this, select these, do this. But I'm wondering, like, on oh, their engine, how do they do that? That's more, <laughs> sorry, that's more on uh, like a technical level than really something that you guys would be that concerned about, obviously. you once again my lord your forces are ready to deploy for the coming engagement they may be positioned anywhere within the area shown always survey the terrain prior to battle and position your troops to gain an edge the enemy gave battle so the onus is on them to attack use this to your advantage This forest may be used to conceal your forces. Arrange your cavalry here, my lord, and they will remain unseen until the enemy draw close. That is a good hint to tell people to do, because that's actually what I was going to do myself. Good. Your troops are now hidden from enemy sight, as you can see. Okay, I can't do anything else with them right now. Pay attention to your unit cards, my lord, for they indicate the status of your troops. Be mindful of your army. Success on the battlefield depends upon it. This ridge will afford your troops an edge in the coming battle, my lord. Place the rest of your troops close by and claim its forward slopes once battle begins. Oh, we don't get the extra troops. Darn it. Troops are ready, my lord. Just give the signal and the engagement shall begin. allowed to move these guys at all? No. That's, um... K. Not a fan of that. The Reaper! Heir of Anarian! To arms, then! The enemy enter the field! 
field. Advance and claim the hilltop, my lord. Its slopes will serve your forces well. Keep your cavalry hidden. Already within. Moving out, my lord. The enemy field artillery against you. They will be able to strike against your forces at great range. I'm aware. Employ your hidden forces, my lord. Advance them through the forest, and they will be able to quickly surprise and overwhelm the enemy. You can tell how much I've played this game versus how much the game expects someone to have played this game. I'm already moving my troops, and it's like, move your troops over here. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, I, I got you. The enemy draw close, my lord. Be sure to have your troops arranged for battle. Employ all that you have learned. Wear them down with missiles. Pin them with infantry. Then hit them in the flanks. At least one of these units. As you Whoops. said, Spearman, setting forth. Oh man. Let's pause this for a second. Cause I'm still trying to move these guys through. That's so what the game wants me to do is send one or both units of cavalry out there. It's actually bad because it's overkill. They can't, there are no defenses they have against it, so one unit of cavalry is all you really need. But. See, they're not gonna be able to defend against that, and boom. So basically, their entire unit for that is gone, and then these guys are not gonna be able to defend. I should actually be able to. Oh, these people are kind of weak. But I'm gonna actually shove these guys in the flank. As you say. Understood. For duty. Not even gonna, well actually these guys are gonna go after maybe him. Just on their way past, let's just Nah. Just go straight. Just screw him. Just run right past him. Lord doesn't matter. Actually, since he took out one of my guys, he gets knocked on his ass, and then they move there. <laughs> Alright, these two archers can basically just like halt here. so dead. Like he's at the base of a hill getting hit by cavalry. Now he's at a disadvantage while facing one of the better um Immediately. One of the better units in the game for lords. Yep. The enemy have been put to flight, my lord. Victory is yours. Heir of Anarian. And we end the battle. This is 
Prince Tyrion took down like the vast majority of those troops. Nice. I'm assuming these were the guys that I sent into the uh, archers, considering how many they took out. That Reaper bolt only took out nine? Damn, I thought it took out more than that. Oh, that the Lord was doing so much damage the entire time. Uh, yeah, let's do force labor, because I like to recover units, if possible. Okay, they're sending a big army down here. I forgot if battle interrupts unit recruitment. I think it does, which is dumb. Because that leaves me at a massive disadvantage, which I'm sure they'll address. Spies within the occupied city suggest that the Druki are on the hunt for ancient scrolls of power. I am no sorcerer, but this is ill news. They must surely be... those now sweet champion of the ever queen so i have my own kind of power Corruption units now makes them sweet so what that takes up i mean definitely the majority of an hour is that introduction um gives me what like 20 minutes to play around with before i hit the hour mark but that's a good idea it gives you like I'm sure it's meant to be like, you know, a half hour to an hour. And it does that. So, this guy, I don't know if he's going to push Ridiculous. after me, but considering I have a slight numbers advantage, I'm just going to sit here. And probably recruit more. It's like one more unit each. Actually, since I have the eagle, the Druki are no is, threat. Another spear. This is what she I do, which is not darkness. everyone does, but I like to over uh, load it because um, I think it's a good idea to put as much as you can. Um, into units early on to have like a big, like at least in that first um, army to get it up to a 20, to a full stack and just use that to wipe out whatever armies you're gonna encounter early on. They're unlikely to be full stacks unless you're like going against the green skin or something. I don't think there's anything I can do right now. Corruption Let's just end the turn. I don't usually have more than four uh, spearmen. I usually have four spearmen, four melee, four missile, um, which is already taking up 12. A lord and then a hero. So now we're up to 14. Um, and then like probably like an artillery unit, a monster unit, and the rest cavalry. That's the ideal army, but you don't always get there. My ancestors <laughs> would be proud. Oh, this is pretty close to the ideal army, actually. Like, Your if I had, um, you know, some swordmen that I could put in here, and then a couple more, um, cavalry, would be definitely the ideal. I'm not gonna add any more right now, though, just because I feel like we're good. Because I'm just going to add units that I'm going to have to delete, which I'm already kind of at, but I don't want to add more than that. Alright. Lord not moved, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's get notification in turn. Here's also another thing that they added from before where, like, there wasn't always, like, a, hey, you need to do this thing. There was just, like, you just did it, so then you'd, like, go through turns where you forgot to move a lord. And so they updated it with a Total War Warhammer. Or maybe the Total Warhammer too, but I think no it was just Warhammer. It is a hotbed of intrigue. And there are those who will try to use current events to turn the populace against you. Take steps to quell the unrest. Those bastards. 
Ooh, Seaguard. These units are amazing. Because they basically serve the purpose of being spearmen and missile units at the same time. And it's just... Corruption makes them weak. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for the growth this time. I really badly want that noble. But I know it's gonna be a unit it's gonna be something I'm gonna have to waste. Like upgrading this is things that I'm gonna have to waste because when I take over these, see that right there? I'm just gonna get rid of this one because then I can upgrade this to like a level five thing. So it, it is somewhat like yeah, what am I doing? But at the same time, I want these units. If you want the units, you're going to have to spend. Can I even re research any technology at this point? Nah, so you can't research any technology off of that. Her servant. Never. See, I need an army big enough to take the Glittering Tower no because... Order. Actually, you know what? I might be able to auto-resolve this battle and take it. Light will Let's drive see. back the darkness. Tyrion, heir of These guys are just... it's too slow. Do it live! No mercy! Nope, because what? There's more settlement. Oh, because those reinforcements and then the settle. Yeah, no. Pull back. Retreat. I'll be interested to see if they the push king. forward after that. I might actually. It might benefit me to push back into Lothurn so that they think of coming out attack because right now I can't really like possess the army big Tyrion, enough to do the damage that I want to do Garrison and need to do so I'm going to back off in the hopes that they use that as an opportunity to kind of come out here Facilities to begin technological research, my lord. It only remains for you to choose the direction of development. Are these actually better. Huh. Yeah, the light armor archers are better than just the regular archers. So let's go and disband. Alariel's champ. Ready for orders. Servant of the king. So let's give. I know, right? Vigilant. Kicking out so many units this time. Shield against the darkness. Promise there's a reason. I want to kick out the units that have, um, 
The annals of the White Tower tell of how key waystones were shattered and then scattered across the land during the Sundering when the Vortex was first attacked by the Witch King. We must seek these way fragments if Lore Master Telerian is to remedy the Vortex. Hmm. I want to get rid of units that already have the experience because Terry, that's yeah, actually really Terry. useful. Protect units that don't, they are in my mind, I don't want to say expendable, but able to be improved upon. It's a good way to refer to it. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that extra year of sure, man, because the Horn Guard are just 45. Gives me an idea of how to use them, but also kind of gives me an idea of the limitations. So I should have kept one of those spearmen. Oh well. Live and learn. Uh, let's see. Weapon strength for high elf, spearmen, and Lothorn sea guard units. Leadership and melee defense for the sea guards. Armor for Lyrian reavers. Reload reduction time for archers. And yeah. I think that one. I think that one's going to give me the most uh, benefit with how my army is being laid out. Awaiting order. Rival power comes to parley. Demanding a change in your mutual relations. Consider their demands. Oh, they will join the war against the cult of excess, excess in exchange for me to giving them a hundred gold. It's a really weird demand, but sure. It doesn't seem like a lot of money, so whatever. Your enemies alone, my lord, for there are foreign powers. Oh, yeah, I should enter into diplomacy and stuff, which I haven't been doing. Relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy, my lord. Consider your situation carefully before accepting any agreement. Wise indeed. Defender of the Ever Queen. See, these guys always give me trade agreements. Your word shall reach the Phoenix throne. I will see to it. I'm listening. Fellow Asser, I bid you welcome. Of course. I don't think Avalon will accept it. Our great king welcomed you. Oh, they did. What do Most you? astute. Lady of Ulthorn. What do you seek from the Asser, traveler? I agree. Man, I should have done that early on. I would have gotten a lot more money in turn. Well, eh, 300 is not too bad. I played like the Skaven the other day in the uh, in the the big one, and like, oh man, <laughs> curse you, sudden but inevitable Ever betrayal. Is, I think can pl uh, clan pestilence in the uh, the joint campaign, and one trade agreement was like a ton of money. Sons of Elf One, what brings you here? Sure. Eventually going to. What is that called? Combine or whatever? Confederate with some of these guys, which will double my size. Ever Practically at 20. 
We're gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Alf one's defender. Alario. The question is, do we have the time to do this battle? Not really. Let's do it anyways. It'll be a little over an hour. Sun Fang hungers. My computer, for the most part, is still capable of recording this. So that's fine. Hasn't blown up yet. It's pumped out a lot of heat into the room, but it hasn't blown up yet. I can have a hidden army. So can they. What well, units can't hide? Should I even bother, or should I let them actually come out into the open? I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take my calf release. We'll call you unit three. Put you deep into the woods. Four out in the woods. All right. Those guys defended by these two units up front. skirmishing. You're going to actually curve this unit like this. Since inevitably someone is going to try to swing the corner to get in on this massive ranged assault. Make it so that from the default should be able to hit. Um, I got a bit right here. Should be able to hit these guys, right? Yeah. Awesome. And then we're gonna put the phoenix right over here. the left flank. All right. Now this whole hullabaloo army one. Yeah, the guys have separated their individual units, so I don't have to worry too much. From here, no, you know, I'll put these guys over here. Stretched out. All right, cool. Well, let's start the battle. Orders received. Enemy reinforcements are approaching. Attack with caution, Commander.
See, they're making the incredibly stupid decision of going into the woods. Oh, these guys haven't taken any damage yet, so... They're out of range of artillery. He is not, though. Ho <laughs> Ironically, that shot actually knocked him out of range of the, <laughs> of the post. Oh, uh, look at those arrows just rain down and pelt that lord. He just took a direct, he just like, basically just championed a direct hit. Oh, the Illyrian can't hide in the woods. Is that what's going on? Oh, they're on the outskirts. Whoops. Now the AI disengages. <laughs> Look at him being flooded. Alright, 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 because the army is going to support him, but... Shit. That is exactly the one hour timer. Stop. But we are going to finish this battle first. So if we choose a target with this, we need to choose our targets quietly. Yeah, the Corsairs make a good amount of sense. Let's pause. But yeah, let's take out the Corsairs. With the artillery. That makes the most sense in my opinion. Phoenix is just sitting here. What is the range on the Phoenix attacks? Oh, they're just right below it.
get him to fly. Here we go. No, 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 no. I'm about the Phoenix here. That was the thing I was trying to grab. This is madness. Madness. That went alright. I feel like that could have went better, but it went alright. Had a few wasted fires of that bombardment because I thought it was a direct damage. <sighs> so we got to see a battle up close that wiped out a significant number of the enemy. Wish they had better artillery than that. I love the catapults. Catapults are like some of the best because they just take out a bunch. Like if you are, like the rock the lobber takes out a ton. Kill them all. The gods are pleased. Oh, those previous battles didn't give him any. I forgot about that. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Sure to guide their development to your advantage. See, that should have been part of the tutorial, like directly, not just like, oh, look, now that you've chosen to do this battle, you get that. Like, not the most battles. You get now it. Develop your skills accordingly. See for yourself. Yeah, I got you. If you're not an established player, uh, this is basically what you can use to bump up your, like, indivi your lord's individual attacks. This is what you can use to bump up his effect on other units. And this is what affects him on the campaign. It kind of say here, battle effects, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I prefer to start out, especially with the, kind of the lore that Tyrion is, to start out with the inspiring presence. Yeah. He's got some followers and stuff. They usually automatically add, but at some point you get so many that like, you can start assigning them. You get mounts, talisman, hand weapons. Um, yeah, you can win unique items through quest chains and stuff. They're pretty awesome. This weapon is a quest weapon. This apparently is not a quest mount. That's a quest item. Uh, I think that's it for quest stuff. Just kind of, some of the guys have like several mounts and like weapons and items and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of fun to play with when you have legendary lords. 
A glorious victory. Anywho. I'm gonna save, and that's gonna be it for this honeymoon playthrough. And the uh I don't know when exactly the review will be coming out. There's one game I want to do a review of first that isn't actually out yet. So uh when that's out, then we'll do um then this this will come out shortly afterwards and I'll add the scaven to it as well. Alright guys, that's it. Peace.